Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Power Friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be diving into the shocking events of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, Episode 8. If we're not caught up by now, be warned. Major spoilers lie ahead. Let's get right into it. This episode sees Cooper Sachs, the longest running villain in the Power Universe, finally running out of second chances. Can you believe that he's been around since the very beginning? He's been a thorn in the sides of our favorite characters, including Ghost, Angela, Tasha, and Tommy. Sack seemed invincible, escaping death time after time, but this is power, and no one is untouchable. His obsession with justice has led to some questionable choices, but in the end, it wasn't the Taharas who took him out. Instead, it was Theo, Davis's brother who decided to eliminate Sax. Their relationship was underdeveloped, but their bond and resent resentments were clear. Theo Theo's acts also served as a way to free both himself and Davis from their trouble. Sax's deaths will have a significant impact on the rest of the season. Jenny and the Feds have lost a CI, but they still have Lauren, and now they have Effie in their sights. Will they flip, or will they remain loyal to Tariq and the Taharas? As we approach the end of the season, tensions are running high. Lucas is likely to make a move. Drew faces challenges after Grodo's death, and the Rico case looms over everyone. Can Tariq and the Taharas find a way out? There is so much more to discuss from this episode, including Tate and Harper's romance. The growing rift between Diana and Monet, and the possibility of Tasha making an appearance before the season end. We, we're, we've only got two episodes left in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, and things are heating up. What do you think will happen next? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. And if you need a refresher, remember, you can watch Power Book 2 Ghost online anytime. Don't miss out on the action. Until next time, Power Fans.